Hello friends, this video on structure of atoms part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new topic called isotopes. Please pay attention here. See in nature, in the real world, it is seen that the number of atoms of some elements have been identified. They have same atomic number but different atomic mass. Same atomic number but different atomic mass. If you see, as I told, atomic number is the critical point. So if the atomic number is different, that means you are talking about two different elements. For example, hydrogen. Atomic number one, atomic mass two. Hydrogen. Atomic number one, atomic mass two. Hydrogen. Atomic number one, atomic number mass two. This is called plutonium. This is called deuterium. This is called tritium. So these three have same atomic number. Right? But they have different atomic mass. Another example can be carbon. Carbon atomic number 6, atomic mass 12, atomic mass 14. Or chlorine atomic number 17, always atomic mass can be 35 or atomic mass can be 37. And please note that, for example, you take some hydrogen in the, in the, in the jar, it will have some concentration of at uh, the first one, right? There is plutonium, some concentration of second one, deuterium, and some concentration of third one, tritium. Right? So it may be thirty percent, forty percent, ten percent. It can be any percentage, but it will have. Typically, the one which is found in nature, for example, for carbon also. When you take some carbon from the nature, it will have some percentage of carbon 12 and some percentage of carbon 14. That is something which is there in the nature. Now, the question is okay, leave that, leave that part. Just understand it is isotope. Isotope is something which has same atomic number but different atomic mass. Right? Example, we have told you hydrogen 3 isotopes, carbon 2 isotopes, chlorine. Two isotopes. Please remember this is a very critical term in chemistry isotopes. Same atomic number, different atomic mass. We have told that also in a given sample, for example, a given example of carbon will have different percentage of different isotopes. Okay, and this is a natural 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 phenomena. And to understand this natural phenomena itself, this term isotope is defined. So isotope as a definition is nothing but isotope is defined as the atom of same element having same atomic number but different atomic mass. Okay, and actually most of the element you see it consists of the mixture of isotopes as I told you. So if you take carbon and hydrogen in the jar, it will have all the isotopes in different quantity based on their occurrence. For example, carbon 12 is almost 99.9% uh, and carbon 14 is almost 0.1%. We talk about chlorine, chlorine 70, 35 is almost 75 percent and chlorine 37 is almost 25 percent. So if you take chlorine from, from the nature, it will have both these chlorine mixture with 75 percent of chlorine 35 and 25 percent of chlorine 37. And thus if you see if you take chlorine from nature, what will be the mass? Will the mass be 35? Will the mass be 37? Then we take average. Then, and that's why you must have seen the chlorine atomic mass is neither 35 nor 37, it is generally 35.5, right? But atomic mass, we, as I told you, is nothing but number of protons and neutrons. Number of protons and neutrons cannot be 35.5, it has to be a natural number. So that is the average atomic mass of chlorine. Please note, the atomic mass of chlorine is 35 or 37. So if you take a sample from the nature, it will have 20, 35% of the chlorine which is having atomic mass 35 and 25% of the chlorine will have atomic mass 37. So when you talk about sample 
atomic mass, the average atomic mass, then you do average and you will find the average comes out to be 35.5. We'll do some maths on that. Okay, so if the element has no isotope, for example gold, then the mass of the atom will be nothing but the sum of protons and neutrons. The simple formula which we have seen. But if the element has isotopic form, then we have to know the percentage of each of these isotopes and then we have to find the average mass. Okay. For example, we can find the average mass of chlorine. So chlorine, this is 75%, this is 25%. If you want to find the average atomic mass, so average will be, this is 35 into 75% plus 37 to 25%. So we saw this, you get 35.58. And that is the average atomic mass of chlorine. Please see once again, chlorine atomic mass is fractional atomic mass but actually you can't have and we have told the definition of atomic mass is nothing but number of protons and number of neutrons number of protons and number of neutrons cannot be a fractional number but this is the average atomic mass of chlorine okay and also most of these isotopes have same chemical property same chemical property correct yeah, because the atomic number is same, atomic number is same, that means the element is same, so they'll have almost same chemical property. Talk about the application of these isotopes. So then you will see that uh, uranium isotopes is used in the nuclear fuel, then cobalt isotope is used to treat cancer, and iodine isotope is used to treat goiter, and uh, carbon isotope is used for carbon dating process to find the age uh, of uh, old vessels, old trees and stuff like that. Let's understand a new concept called isobars. In isobars, it is atomic mass is same but atomic number is different. It is just reverse of isotopes. So it has same atomic mass but different atomic number since atomic number is different that means the element has to be different for example you talk about calcium 20 is the atomic number 40 is the atomic mass talk about argon 18 is the atomic number 40 is the atomic mass in this case the atomic mass is different but please note, since the atomic number is different, both the elements are different, right? So atomic mass is same or I can say that total number of nucleons are same. Same atomic mass or same nucleons count. Not that critical concept, isotope is more critical concept because in that case we have same atomic number, same element but different atomic mass and same properties but different atomic mass. In this case, Actually, we talk about two different elements with same atomic number, but uh, sorry, different atomic number, but same atomic mass. And obviously, both of these will have different properties. Why? Because they are two different elements altogether. For the symbol H, D, N, T, tabulate three subatomic particles in each of them. CH is what? Hydrogen, Hydronium, Hydronium I can say. D is what? Deuterium and T is Tritium. So in all these if you see, atomic number is all same. In all these three atomic number is same because they are all isotopes of hydrogen. But mass is different. In hydronium atomic mass is 2, deuterium atomic mass is 3, tritrium atomic mass is 3. They are three all three isotopes of hydrogen. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. In this case we have to tabulate or uh, we have to write subatomic particles. So, subatomic particles I have proton, electron, and neutron right these are the three subatomic particles so atomic mass is nothing but number of protons 
so protons will be one in all because the atomic mass is one okay now the number of proton will be equal to the number of electron because it is neutral so number of proton will be equal to number of electron now the neutron atomic mass is proton plus neutron right this is 1 is equal to 1 plus 0 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 right because these two proton plus neutron if you add you get atomic mass so 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 0 is 1 okay so this is a tabular form of the three subatomic particles in each of hydronium deuterium and tritium write the electronic configuration of any one pair of isotopes and one pair of isobar so isotope the famous pair i think is the chlorine which is this is one uh, chlorine with 35 atomic mass and the other is 37 atomic mass 75 percent 25 percent maybe the result required so electronic configuration depends on number of electrons right so electronic config is configuration of electrons the electrons is same in both the case that is 17 atomic so the electronic configuration for both of the case will be 287 17 by 287 klm k can accumulate at the max 8 at the max sorry k can accommodate at the max 2 l can accommodate at the max 8 and this can accommodate at the max 18 so first two will go here second eight will go here remaining seven will come here so 287 is the electronic configuration this is isotope let's take isobar isobar a good example i just took was calcium and argon both have same atomic mass that is 40 but the atomic number is different since the atomic number is different the electronic configuration will be different so for calcium it is 20 it will be 2 8 can it be 10 see 20 first 2 comes here second 2 comes in a and then remaining 10 can i put 10 here no the maximum number in the outermost shell will be 8 so it will be 2 8 8 2 for argon First two comes here, next eight comes here, remaining is uh, eight because ten we have already used. So eight comes here. So that is the electronic configuration. Please pay attention here. This is correct. Two, eight, ten. This is incorrect. Right? Because although m orbital can accommodate 18 electrons, but since in this case m will be the last orbital and the last orbital can accommodate at the max eight. So at the max you can put eight here. So two will go here. This is the correct electronic configuration. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.